Hello, hello, hello. Gigi here coming to you with another video to finish up my wool walk. So today was the last day and as I said, I hopefully it was a wonderful day weather-wise. So, um if you're a fiber lover like me, I hope that you took advantage and got out there to visit some yarn stores that perhaps you didn't know exist or that you've never been to or that you've been to before but you want to wait for something that's on sale whatever works I again had another busy busy day so I got up early and my first stop was do you knit she's now in Westfield I originally met Karen in her Hoboken store so first and actually she just called me and I won the raffle from her store so uh, my daughter's gonna have to go pick up my goodies to see what I win so um, Karen got me hooked on a yarn called Anzula or Anzulu I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right but those that follow me on Ravelry, those that have been with me as I've grown in my knitting, may have seen a poncho that I did in this orange. Not poncho. Yes, it was poncho. It was orange. And it was for therefore better or for worsted. What I love about Anzul. Am I saying that right? Anzula. Anzula. I love the blend because it's 80% superwash merino and it's 10% cashmere then 10% nylon. I can't, I need a fill cam. I need somebody to invent a camera so you guys can feel it. Um, yeah. Not sure what I'm going to make so don't ask. <laughs> but I got me some Anzu. And then this is not for better or worse. I tried a, a, a smaller... Uh, uh, a lesser weight one this is called squishy and it has 385 give or take yards decent yardage so I can get a nice shawl or something out of this I'm sure but um yeah had to do that then my Shelby saw a pattern um um sunstruck sunburst sun something that she wanted so we got the yarn for that um it's short rolls and it's angles so we got can you guys see the colors there's a gray there's a teal there's a purple of course because it's for you shelby and like a gold um when i make it i'll share of course so of course everything was 20% off so that kind of made it a little easier and then Karen knows that I am a chunky wool quick fix instant gratification type and she pointed out this poncho to want to know had I seen it and of course I had not and I had to buy the pattern it's um, called back bay poncho it's by Mac and me and that screams GG so I got the pattern because I am so going to make that so we wound up in do you knit um, and from there we headed to Chelsea yarns now Chelsea yarns I had heard about if I remember correctly I want to say Mira told me about Chelsea yarns I was looking for particular yarn and I can't for the life of me right now tell you what that yarn was but Mira told me about her I found her on Instagram first I think and then I followed her on Facebook and she's a bit she's a way south from me so it took me about close to an hour to get to her but I felt like um since I couldn't do them all and I miss my travel buddy my girlfriend, um, she's in Atlanta this weekend. Her and I usually hit the walks hard. <laughs> but a couple things. I wasn't here, one, two. She had a wedding this weekend. So um, I don't really feel bad because I would have really felt bad doing them all without her. 
But I had to go to Chelsea Yarns, is, is what I'm saying. I'm babbling, forgive me. Um, because I had never been there, one. And from the pictures I've seen, I'm like, her store looks like it's gorgeous, so I have to go. And everyone that I've asked about, you know, had nothing but good things to say. So we took the ride down um, to Colts Neck, New Jersey. Um, if you're from New Jersey, it was exit 117 or around there somewhere on the parkway. She gave it to me, hush. <laughs> and that's a nice bag, nice cloth bag, canvas. Now she had a nice selection of yarn. So I bought, I love, let me get the name of the company, wait, because she, she spun it for me. Manos, Manos Del Uruguay Ma Maxima. You, you've seen, I've had this before. That I did a, I did a cow in this, in like a ice blue. But I love variated yarn. I love. I, I don't even know that I would ever think to put any of these colors together. But isn't that pretty? So I got two of those, just so I will have enough to make something of significance. And then Shelby saw this hanging up in the store. It's called um, Tilted Shadows. So, I don't often... Shelby gets things by default. I haven't in a, made something specifically for her in quite some time. So, I got the yarn. She just, her only request difference is she wants it to be longer. Shelby likes a lot of real estate with her cow. She likes to be able to wrap them around a couple times so we doubled up what's required for that particular and we got all neutrals if you can see can you guys see that so there's like a cream there's like a tan and there's like a darker it's more like a camel color so i think that's going to be pretty i'm looking forward to making that So, I'm not going to talk you to death this time like I did yesterday. Oh, wait, there's goodies in here. Christina threw stuff in the bag. <laughs> She's so sweet. She gave me a um, stitch marker. And listen, same thing. I walk in, um, and the store is deep, and the register is at the back. So, I'm, you know, of course, as soon as I walk in, I say hi, there's people, but yarn. I, you know, I'm like squirrel, you know. So, as I get to where she, she looked up, she was like, Gigi! <laughs> that just always makes me smile. Always makes me smile. So, she gave me little kids. She's a sweetheart. I saw something else floating around in here. I think it's a stitch marker. It is. Can you see? It says Chelsea Yarns. Cute, 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 cute. So it's over for this year. If you missed it, um, just I. If you missed it and you're not sure if there's yarn stores in your community, all I can say to you is Google search. Look, Siri is my best friend. You guys see me? I go on all these different places traveling for work, and the first thing I do is find my way to a yarn store. I tell Siri, find me a yarn store. So. I'm sure if you search, you'll be able to find. We are um, lucky in that respect here in New Jersey because we have quite a few. Although, like I said, what I would refer to as my home yarn store is closing. There's still quite a few yarn stores around. So if you went, use the hashtag, share pictures, because that's what I do. I like to search the hashtag and see what people purchased or where they went and that's it for now I'm gonna share some footage I did take some video um, I have some video of Karen talking about a yarn that's exclusive to her um, and I have some video as I was walking around Chelsea yarn so until next time bye thanks for watching thanks for liking and don't forget to subscribe enjoy what's left of your weekend
forgot to show you the little scissors I bought. Shelby's project is Echo Highland Duo, which is 70% alpaca and 30% merino. And actually, everything I bought today was for Shelby. The, the other yarn is called Color Adventures Hand Dyed Yarn by Anna Demina. Colorway is called Rainy Day and it's a hundred percent superwash merino. And these have good yardage too. They're like four plus in each skein. You'll be in tonight's video. So I made it guys. I'm finally in do you knit. Finally, fine. How long you been here now, Karen? A uh, year. Yeah, right, and I'm just getting here. Blame it on. I'm sorry. But you know, it remind, these things remind you of some ocean, summer, you know, those coastal colors. Beautiful. Okay. So and sure. a, there's a nice sure. amount on here. My huh? color. Yeah, it's, it's 400 and something enough to knit a pair of socks. Usually, that's what you get. I think that's great. I like that for socks. Okay, I, I knew I finally made it when I got a color named after. <laughs> Let me see My you. What you got? Let me see. Okay, so tell me about it. Zan, oh. Zan Yarn Garden. It's, I picked my colors. Okay. And um, this is Glitter Sock. Nice. Cashmere. And this is Serenity 20. And you could only get it here. Okay. Exclusive. And, and it's Ooh, exclusive. Get, and if you'd like to see it, knit it up. Okay, coming with you. Of course we need that. I'm following we up. Of course that. I do. Okay, oh, that is nice. Wow. That's very wow. nice, Karen. So this is a beautiful. This is now, what size needle is that? This is on a size eight needle. Size this eight. This is a free pattern by Lisa Mooch. Okay. And it's called the Zilver, Z-I-L-V-E-R, and it's on Ravelry, a free pattern, one skein. One skein of one that. One skein. And how much yardage is in there? Four hundred yards. Good stuff. And you said that's cashmere. Yeah, cashmere. Don't you love those silk. one skein? Mm -hmm. yep. Nice. One skein project. Nice. Oh. Shelby, you see that purple? That is pretty. And it looks like it's done, even though it's small, but it's a big needle because it's so open. That is pretty. Size 8 needle. So that's not bad. Oh, 